that like all over the planet. Yeah. Signs. Did you uh, see that one I posted on Instagram the other day? No. Oh my god. This is fucking insane. What is it? Um Oh shit. <laughs> what? Where did I leave my phone? You've got there's a phone right there. Where? Oh, well, it's, it was hidden by my mic. Sorry. I'll, I'll, I'm going to send it to Jamie right now. Because, do you got it? Yeah. So, check this out. P give me some volume on this. Central Java's lush Kedu plains in pursuit of this mythical peak near the little settlement of Burra. They chopped and burned the strangling vegetation for six weeks and removed tons of volcanic ash. What they discovered were marvelous figures cut in stone, thousands of them, hidden beneath the volcanic jungle. Buddha. Believed to have been built in the 8th and 9th century, the Barobidir Temple is an uncontested marvel whose intricate architecture continues to confound scholars. Despite being one of the most important sites on Java, there is no written record of who erected it or what its intended purpose was. Because there are no inscriptions or dates on the monument, historians must make educated guesses as to when it was most likely created. The dating estimates are based purely off of architectural comparisons found elsewhere in Indonesia. Given the magnitude of the construction, it appears remarkable that no ruler or dynasty took credit for it. Barobidir is the world's biggest Buddhist temple, and yet nobody knows who built it. Whoa. On the Indonesian... That's cool. Yeah, Jamie, I'm sending you another one right now. I mean, there's a bunch of these things. There's a bunch of things like that. They, they're just like, uh -huh. So like, Who made this? Okay, what are your thoughts on mud flood? What's mud flood? Mud flood theory. Oh, the, 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 well, like, I think that goes along with the Younger Dryas Impact Yeah, theory, but right? much... But check this out, though, real quick. I want you to watch this, because this is fucking bananas. Same account. We set out to empty ponds that residents said were bottomless. The Long Yu Caves, located in the village of Xi'an Beijun in Zhejiang Province, China, are a massive and majestic ancient underground world. The Long Yu Caves, also known as the Xiaonanhai Stone Chambers, are thought to date back to at least 2,000 years and represent one of the largest underground excavations wow. of ancient times, as well as an ongoing mystery that has confounded scientists from every discipline that has researched them. Scientists from archaeology, architecture, engineering, and geology around the world have no understanding who or why the Long Yu Caves were carved into the earth. Currently, 24 hand-carved caves encompassing a staggering 30,000 square meters have been found so far. Jesus. Each grotto is carved into solid siltstone and descends roughly 30 meters down, with stone rooms, bridges, gutters, and ponds. The Long Yu Caves are supported by pillars that are evenly dispersed throughout the caves, and the walls, ceiling, and stone columns are uniformly decorated with chisel marks in a pattern of parallel lines and ornate designs. Despite their magnitude and the work required to build them, no indication of their construction, or even their existence, has been discovered in archival sources. Despite the fact that the whole excavation involved about a million cubic meters of stone, there is no archaeological evidence explaining where that amount of stone went, nor is there evidence of the work being done. Damn. Furthermore, there isn't a single historical source that mentions them, which is extremely remarkable given the scope of the undertaking. Despite decades of analysis, the Long Yu Cave's mystery remains essentially unsolved. What the fuck, dude? You know, when people, like, bash Hancock, or try to dismiss it, or debunk it, it's so frustrating to me, because, the, the like, first of all, no, like, nobody builds something that big, underground, just for fun. Like, you know what I mean? There's a, the, I, like, I think we burrowed in. We had to, like whatever happened, yeah. or maybe something happened, and then we were so scared it would happen again, we created, that's like an ancient survival shelter. Well, they have them in Turkey as well. There's these giant under, is that where it was, where uh, Randall told us Dude, about? Dude, those are crazy. Those yeah. are crazy with like air ducts. Yeah, and yeah. Just insane. And it's like, you don't do that unless you have to. Right. You don't burrow like a human ant high ant nest yeah these things like the amount of resources it took to do what these people did these are huge chambers carved into stone in the truth think that the sky was like fucking raining lightning at one point yeah pole shift i mean to me the really eerie thing about all of this is the information gap it's that mm -hmm. we have this massive, like, the hard drive has been, like, fragmented mm -hmm. from what, like, we just don't know. But it's thank so God they made everything out of stone. 
the thing about it is whatever their technology was that existed to make the pyramids, it was different. We make everything out of metal and glass, and that shit's not going to be here in 10,000 years. It's just not going to be here. It'll all, all get right. destroyed by just Mother Nature. It'll just eventually get... Like, I think they've done, like, analysis of, like, how much of a city will be around after 500 years of how just much? vacancy. And after 1,000 years... Well, Detroit is a great example. You see what happens in Detroit? Yeah. Houses are just getting taken over by trees. Yeah. Like, trees go through the roof. They grow through the floor. They're literally devouring the homes. They've, the homes that are abandoned are getting eaten so by cool. trees. So cool. It's very cool. But it shows you it didn't take – I mean, nature has a long lifespan. It doesn't yeah. give a fuck if it takes 100 years to reclaim a house or right. to take a house back. Just yeah. get the roots of the tree to start busting through. Everything's rained on. The wood's soggy. Yeah. It just breaks apart. It eats everything. It eats everything. Assimilates everything. The, You know, there's like this – humans – have this interesting like temporal blindness like the the way that we the way time passes for us produces yeah. the illusion of solidity and so mm. that makes that confuses people because they think that there's permanence here when if we could just see if we lived longer and we could see time faster we would feel yeah. like we were in some kind of like ocean of like undulating matter with these voids in it that we hang out in like little bubbles in the ocean mm. that's what we build our houses and we wouldn't look at this place as solid we wouldn't think of it as like permanent this is why everyone was so like fucked up by the pandemic is because you know you watch enough tv you buy into the permanence of civilization suddenly civilization like has a little little rumble like a little rat like a, a house that needs some kind of serious repair it shifts on its it shifts a little bit yeah and and everyone was like reminded yeah this this doesn't last any more than any of that shit lasted and i think that's very disturbing for people who've really anchored themselves in some notion of permanence here yeah it freaks people out well i think that was a great ad for psilocybin Yes. <laughs> <laughs> psilocybin. That's what that was. That was an awesome ad for psilocybin. Ozempic now has psilocybin in it, which is That's incredible. better. That's better. You realize why you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> It'll show you everything. It'll show you all the wires. You need it. the board. Dude, yeah. the, the whole thing, like this, this is what I, one of the really funny things about humans we are capable of ignoring internal realities. Like we yeah. can somehow distract ourselves from the obvious cause of our suffering and equate it with a million other things than just what it actually is. Like